this looks like the beginning of a sex tape. Oh, yes. Hi there, and welcome to the Trisha Paytas sex tape. Enjoy this two-minute preview. If you want the full 45 minutes, all you have to do is pay $5.99 at TrishaXXX.com. Greetings and salutations to my little fishies and to consumers who just want a honest review of hotels in New York City. So, as a disclaimer, there's a couple things. One, yes, the air conditioning is blasting at 60 degrees on December 30th in New York City where the temperatures outside are freezing and the wind is wicked. Yet I'm having to blast the air in my hotel room. We'll get to that later. Two, I don't want this to come off as, I mean, it might come off a little like white girl problem, first world problem sort of thing, where in the grand scheme of things, is it really that bad? No, I'm not saying I feel like I'm in a homeless shelter or this is like poverty level by any means. I totally understand that, but I wanted to give a completely honest review because one of my favorite things to do when I travel and stay at hotels is to do hotel room tours. It's like the highlight of my trip of traveling somewhere. So I was really excited to come here and show you a new hotel and you know live in the life of luxury for a couple days because that's why people go on vacation is to have people wait on them and change their beds and just live a awesome, awesome time. Okay. I had to I had to review this hotel and honestly I'm here for three nights this is my second night here and literally last night when I came in after a really long flight I wanted to cry at how small and uncomfortable this was and I'm gonna give you a little tour and show you each little thing that was really irritating to me and mind you this is over $500 a night this room that I'm staying at so keep that in mind when I do a 360 and I bump into the walls just by moving. Um, <laughs> so I put that as a disclaimer, not to brag that I can afford a $500 a night hotel, which I really can't, but it's New Year's Eve and you know, I'm in New York City, so I guess it's to be expected, but I'm shocked. And not only would I not pay $500 again for this hotel, but I don't think I'd even pay over $100 for this hotel. And I'm pretty sure this hotel is more than $100 on a regular basis so I and also disclaimer I paid for this hotel myself no one paid for it no one gave this to me uh, nothing um, so it's literally just me in this hotel room and um, yeah so I'm gonna show you a quick little tour and then we'll come back and do Trisha's final thoughts okay so this is the entryway so there is the door right there and I'm gonna come in and show you as if we were just going to be walking in. Okay, so you're walking in here. Right away, there's your little light switch, like literally right there, okay? Okay, whatever. Um, another light switch for the bathroom. And then the hall. So literally, I'm in the hallway right now, okay? And I wish I could show you like, okay, so my arm is bent and it's touching this. My arm is bent and it's touching this. So you're you would be have bent arms if you wanted to stand right here with your arms out. I don't know why that would be a big deal, but it is very small. So again, just a very small entryway. Then you have this random closet, which looks like someone could have been murdered here and their body parts hanging. And you have a safe. Uh, those are my hair tools. And there's that. And a really wonderful ironing board with stains on it. Score. Okay, so then you come over here and it is the bathroom. Okay guys, this bath, <laughs> this bathroom is the nightmare of all bathrooms. This is the worst thing about it because in a hotel you like to have a really spacious bathroom and just get ready and be pretty and primping and okay so first of all this mirror above a toilet seems very logical because uh, who you you would look you want to look at the back of your head while you're on the toilet. I don't know. I thought this actually slid. I was like trying to think of it like sliding over because if you're in front of the sink, it would make sense. You'd want to see yourself and do get, do whatever you do here. But to do your makeup and hair over a toilet is wonderful because all your cords get to go in the toilet, which mine actually did. All my cords, I had to put my curling iron and my flat iron and my blow dryer up here, which was extremely unsafe. So blow dryer cord went in there multiple times extremely safe not and then my curling iron actually fell just whole thing in there wonderful okay <laughs> so 
then you have this sink which holds absolutely nothing but some face wash. Like, literally nothing. And then look how, like, shallow the sink is. Like, literally, I'll show you guys. Like, I could fill this up in, like, two seconds. This whole thing, like, fills up. Like, right away, it's crazy to wash your face. So, it's a weird sink. You can absolutely put nothing on that. Like, you have to use that as a sink, the top of the toilet, which is super classy. Um, and then you have, like, shelves, whatever. Okay, now, tell me how this makes sense. Can someone tell me how this shower makes sense? Okay, I thought the door was missing, but they said that's how it's supposed to be. This doesn't slide. This doesn't move. It's just one side is covered, and then this side is open, and it's a shallow shower. Like, there was a flood in here earlier. Like, I had to mop it up with towels. There was a flood in here earlier from me trying to take a shower. Trying to take a shower, being keyword. And then they have towels up there, which is extremely odd. And then the actual shower hem is like a rainfall for like a nine foot man. It's the weirdest thing. And I just, it's, oh, it's weird. It is weird. And again, this is a really creepy bathroom. It's lit terrible. Like, forget doing hair, makeup. You're going to look like a serial killer in this mirror. So there's that. So now we're back in here. Okay, guys. So literally, ready? Yep. And yep, yeah, and you know the spatial recognition of your bent arms right here, so it's not a very wide room at all. Think, I think they put this big mirror here to open it up to make it seem larger than it is because the reviews and the pictures online make this room appear to be rather large. I will say the bed is beautifully made and the pillows are wonderful, but when I checked in last night, I'm not kidding you, I should have filmed this last night, there was blood stains on top, on top of this. They didn't even bother to flip it around, but they only have this one sheet, so there's not even a fitted sheet. So you have to sleep with the sex sheet, as I call it, because you know people have sex on this bed, and I heard they don't have to clean these all the time, and I could tell by the stains. Okay, so there's the big mirror like I was talking to you guys about. It's, um, the mirror's nice. It is nice, but it's, you know, it's kind of pointless because, oh, here's the other thing. There's no power outlets in here. I was like looking. Okay, so you have to unplug. There's two things using that outlet. I'll show you the other outlet here real quick. There's two things using that outlet, and there's two things using that outlet. So, like, in order for me to plug my phone in and my computer at the same time, I have to unplug this light, but that light right there is what I need. I had to unplug the Keurig. It's crazy. And also, if you wanted to plug your curling iron into your hair out here, you can't because it doesn't reach. It makes no sense whatsoever. So there's this and like like you can see like look my bags it's just it's just it looks disgusting it looks so messy in here because there's no room to put anything anywhere and I only have two bags with me so there's that there's the mirror whatever I put my stuff out here I'm like literally using the mini bar as like my makeup holder and stuff it's it's just there's no room this desk is like extremely small and tiny um TV remote didn't work in my room so there's that. Um, so I haven't been able to watch TV. Okay, guys. Also, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my. I gotta. I gotta flip this around real quick and talk to you guys for just, just a quick second. Just a hot second here. And let me just explain something to you guys about the. Let's, can I explain something about the heater? Can I? Okay. I checked in. I checked in last night at um, like around midnight. At like midnight. I guess today's the 30th. So the 29th. I checked in. And it was a long flight from LA, and I checked in, and it's, I, he's like, he goes, okay, so do you want a room with a view and noisy streets, or do you want to be a little higher up to not disturb your sleep, but you're going to have the, the boiler heating up your room, it's going to get hot. I, 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 you guys, I, I was confused, I was like, Wait, there's no thermostats in the room? He goes, oh no, there is. There's just like a boiler heater because the 11th floor is the floor I'm at and it's the top floor. He's like, there's just a boiler heater that makes the rooms really hot. You guys, it literally makes the room like 90 degrees. I thought I was going to die. I couldn't breathe. And I even opened up the window and I couldn't breathe. And I didn't think the air was working because I got in late and I had to charge my phone and my computer. So I, I unplugged the light and I couldn't see anything. So I didn't think the, the air was working. So I just like opened up the window hoping... Uh, praying that 
it was going to be cool, but it wasn't. It was so hot. It was the most miserable night's sleep I've had. Sweating. I slept naked, sweating through the seat. Like, I just, I had to take a, a cold washcloth on my head and just, like, cool myself down. What, what sense does that make to have a 90 degree boiler heater on for the whole 11th floor to be just suffocating, suffocating. I like could not breathe and I don't understand like aren't hotels like known for just having the individual thermostats to adjust. By the way, that's also broken, I'll show you. And I went to go push it down and like cut my finger last night on it. That was, that was wonderful. That was about par for the course, but it was so hot in here. <laughs> like it was the most, the most miserable night's sleep I've had ever. And maybe it's cause I was cranky from traveling or what have you, but it was awful. So that is why I have the 60 degree AC on in here because it's just ridiculously, ridiculously hot. Don't stay on the 11th floor. And, um, <laughs> And let's just let's just check out the view. Ready? Let's just check this out. Okay. So there's the wonderful updated uh, cooling system. Uh, as you can see, this part right here is the little part that like cut me or whatever. Yeah. Um, so I have it on a 60, although it says CF now, so I don't know what that means. But <clears throat> it's nighttime. But I just wanted to show you guys real quick. You guys, this is the view. How freaking creepy is that? I am not zoomed in at all. There's no screen here. There's no glass, there's no screen. Look, my hand is outside the window. That is the most unsafe thing ever. And it's just like, hey, what's up? Person right across the way. So freaking creepy. And this is what you'll get to stare at for 500 and some dollars a night. Okay, so moving on from that beautiful view, um, this part, I don't mind. This is actually the pictures they have on the website, which entices you because it does look, you know, nice. It's, it's, the decor is nice. Sheets are not clean, but whatever. I mean, this part is, you know, I can't really complain. Um, yeah, it's, it's, the bed's comfortable enough, you know, once I got the air on. Um, so there's that. So I'll just show you guys really quick here, right here. So if you're like in bed, like, this is basically your, I mean, you'll see the front door from like the end of the room. Um, so that's pretty much the hotel room tour here at the Empire Hotel. So I don't know if I said in the beginning, which would make sense as to why this is a review. I am staying at the Empire Hotel on West 63rd Street. That's 44 West 63rd Street in uh, New York City. Um, it's located by the Lincoln Center. Um, the location's pretty pretty awesome. I can't lie. Like, I mean, it's, it is in the heart of everything, so I guess I understand the markup, but I will say I stayed at the W a month and a half ago in Times Square on Broadway and like 47th or 46th, and it was just ugh, leaps and bounds nicer. The price was better. It was just modern people. The elevators were key access only. It was super safe. Um, like I said, luxurious all the way. They had Bliss Spa lotions. Um, so if you're gonna spend the price, I'm gonna say definitely skip the Empire Hotel. I would say even go to the W because um, it's, like I said, more cost efficient and just better service. People, the service here is is awful. And I and I asked for an upgrade actually last night and they're just like, nope, didn't check, nothing. And I, I guess I understand like they know, but it's like at least you know, humor me, pretend to check for the upgrade. Um, but just the, it's just it's not worth the price, and I'm just gonna say pass on it. And I stayed at other beautiful, beautiful New York hotels, and uh, I'd rather stay at the Hilton than the Empire Hotel. So I get this hotel. Um, hmm, I'm gonna get this hotel a half a star for trying to keep the decor somewhat luxurious and elegant and modern. Um, and yeah, the the restaurant here sucks too. So I can't I can't really discredit the hotel for having a terrible restaurant, but the W has I think bluefin, bluefin something like that. It's really good. And the uh, Hilton has free uh, wi um, not Wi-Fi, free complimentary continental breakfast. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Sorry, it's a little late. Um, so yeah, so that is my review. And also the hotel is very old and creaky and has a little bit of a musty smell. So uh, <laughs> so this is my review. I'm probably gonna write one on Yelp because had I checked Yelp first, 
I would have seen all the reviews kind of saying the same thing, but the room is small and kind of smelly. And so um, I probably will write a review on that as well, but definitely not a luxury hotel as advertised. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review slash hotel room tour. I hope it didn't come off as like I was complaining or anything. I mean, I know it's probably like little things, but like I said, at the same time, when you're on vacation and you just want to be treated special and have that extra service, which is supposed to be why you go on vacation and why you stay at hotels, you know, it just, it, it makes, it makes me, it makes me not happy as a consumer. But this is just my opinion and my thoughts and, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, if you guys enjoy these when I travel to do more hotel room tours, make sure you like up this video and until next time, here are my kisses for my little baby fishies. Mwah!